In today's video, I am going to be sharing eight tiny habits I implemented in my life that have changed the quality of my life. Whether it comes to being more productive, more organized, more confident and a better person. All these habits are simple yet extremely powerful and effective if followed on a regular basis. These are the habits I have incorporated around a year ago and after that I became a completely different person. I became more confident, more disciplined, more organized and I am growing every single day as a better person. So now let's talk about all these habits that have changed my life. There was a time in my life when I used to spend hours with my phone and unintentionally scrolling YouTube shorts or reels or any social media platform. And just because of me scrolling unintentionally, I was struggling a lot to manage my time effectively. I was not able to complete any of my tasks. I could not participate in any activities. I did not get time to follow any of my hobbies. However, I gradually mastered the art of time management. And just because of me mastering the art of time management, now I am able to improve my academic performance, running a YouTube channel, learning multiple languages, pursuing my hobbies and passions, and finding time for all those things which bring joy and happiness in my life. As a teenager, I often underestimated the importance of sleep. I used to stay up late at night either to study or just to scroll down social media. I was hardly sleeping 4 to 5 hours and this habit impacted my life miserably. I used to shout at people every now and then because I was not able to focus on anything. I was feeling extremely frustrated. I was not able to concentrate on any of my tasks and just because of it, I was feeling frustrated more and more. I was trying multiple techniques just to get enough sleep but despite having tried multiple things, I could not make it happen. Nothing worked for me. But I remember once I did not recharge my phone and when my phone did not have internet connection, I did not even touch my phone. I literally kept it aside and did not look at it. And when I did not touch my phone, I was sleeping early and waking up early. And when I was getting enough sleep, I was able to focus on everything. I was able to concentrate on my work and I was not shouting at people. Then I realized then if I have to be focused, if I have to be more disciplined, then I need to get proper and enough sleep. And then I learned this lesson that sleeping every single day, at least for seven to eight hours is extremely important. When I first created my social media accounts, I started following several influencers because I thought I liked their content. That's why I watched them. But now I realize that I was not liking their content. It's just that I was affected and impressed by their lavish lifestyle. But very soon I realized that everybody started affecting me negatively. I was comparing my life with their life, that they have achieved everything. But here I am, I have nothing. I have not achieved anything. All of them are traveling, all of them are winning an award, all of them are getting everything what they have ever dreamt of. All of them are just making their dream come true. And here I am. I started looking myself as a failure who has nothing. So in this way, my life get got affected extremely horrible. I was not able to understand what I was supposed to do. I was just comparing my life with their life. And I used to call myself loser failure because I could not achieve anything what they have achieved. But somehow I managed to convince myself that you have to stop looking at them because their life is completely different from your life. So you have to stop comparing right now. And I decided to fo unfollow all of them. And then I started comparing myself. And then I started comparing my life with them. And I think that was the best decision I have made. And after that, I decided that I'm not going to follow anybody because 
if I would be following, then I might get affected by their lifestyle and I might compare myself with their life. I have found journaling extremely helpful as a teen because this is the phase of our life when we go through a lot of things. And journaling is the best way to express and release your energy, your emotions, your frustrations, wishes and everyday occurrences on a piece of paper. You can dump everything, whatever you have, whatever you have in your mind in a piece of paper. There were many times in my life when I was having a lot of doubts. I did not have clarity that what I should be doing at the very moment and what I was supposed to do. And I could not have even talked about such things to anybody because probably I was afraid that people are going to judge me and people may not understand what I'm talking about. And that's why I could not talk about such things to anybody. And at that time, journaling helped me a lot to release my energy and just to feel relaxed. Because whenever I write down something, I just feel relaxed. And in this way, we can share everything without letting anybody know about our life that what we are struggling with. Learning to say no when I truly meant it is the pivotal lesson for me, especially as a teenager, because this is the phase of our life where we are more likely to get distracted because of our surroundings, because of our classmates, because of our friends, especially if you do not have positive environment. Initially, I always wanted to please everybody and did not want to dis appoint others and even though if I said no to someone ever then I used to feel extremely bad and I used to think that other person has come to me because of their problems and they were looking for solution and they were seeking help but what I did I was not generous and kind enough to say yes to that person and I used to think that if I would sacrifice my own values, my own needs and my own desire, then probably I would become a generous and kind person. Earlier, I had only one thing in my mind that I cannot disappoint anybody. I have to please everybody because this is something I have learned from my elders. My elders have only taught me that you have to please everybody because this is how we live our life. And time came when nobody started asking for my opinion and my suggestion. And when I raised question that why did not you ask me about it? And they were like, I knew that you would say yes. So that kind of person I had become. But once I began my self-improvement journey, I mainly focused on this particular thing that I am taking a stand for myself and I'm saying no when I meant no. I had never thought of fixing my own posture because this is something nobody had ever told me. And I often used to slouch and hunch over because I did not know that there's something called good posture because neither my parents nor my teachers had ever made me aware that you have to fix your posture and you always have to keep your shoulder straight. And it's something you don't have to do because you have to impress someone, but you have to do it because it will make you feel confident and you will feel that, yeah, I have power and I can do whatever I want. I was watching a video on YouTube and somebody mentioned that you have to be cautious when it comes to fixing your posture. And it's something you can't do it overnight because we are accustomed of just slouching and hunching over. But once you realize that you have to fix your posture you always have to make yourself realize that you have to keep your shoulder straight so that you will be able to sit like this without thinking twice without hunching over and without slouching so here are seven tiny and simple habits that i have incorporated in my life as a teenager which is helping me to grow as a better person every single day so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got some valuable insights and knowledge from this video. Then please hit the like button and write down something in the comment section that what are the habits you are following every single day and what are the habits you would like to incorporate in your daily life to become a better person. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye.